afternoon. Thank you, everybody, for coming again to these interview series. Uh, they're brought to you, of course, by Apple Pie English School. This is our Slice of Pie page. So, of course, our Slice of Pie page on YouTube, which here you can see me in a tie, and, of course, uh, brought to you by or produced by Apple Pie English School in Tagasaki, Guma, uh, the school I've owned now for 18 years. Yes. So today uh, I'll introduce what we're doing. So, of course, today we have Naoki here with us. So he's one of my college students uh, that I uh, usually interview. So once a month I interview a student, a college student, and also once a month I interview either an adult student at my Akaiwa school or a parent of an adult student. And when I do that, I ask these questions like this. So we have a format. So, of course, me, who is the guest and where they're from? So, of course, today we have Naoki from Tatebashi, which he'll teach us some stuff about Tatebashi in the second part. The second part, of course, is what is famous for his home state or hometown. Uh, we've had Guma people before, but this is the first time somebody from Tatebashi. Uh, and uh, why uh, did I invite this guest? And uh, why are they good at studying? Of course, uh, I will explain in the third part. In the fourth part, of course, the guest will explain their main study advice, what makes them such a good student. And in the fifth part, as I tell my students all the time, uh, be better every day. So how... <laughs> How will this student or this person try to be better physically, mentally, or emotionally this year? So, of course, so let me introduce a little bit about him here. Of course, uh, back to our page here. Of course, here's all the prefectures in Japan for people overseas to see. So, of course, if you've been following along, we've had somebody from Hokkaido, and we've had another person from uh, Yoshi, was from Niigata. We also had Ishikawa, uh, one of his classmates, actually. She's a second-year student at his university, Sakino. Uh, she was from here. And, of course, we had a few people from Guma now, Shibakawa, Tagasaki, I think, one Maibashi. But today will be a new person from Tatsumaishi, which, if I show on the prefecture map, I'll link all of these in the show notes. So, of course, this is the map of Guma here. If you can see here. So, and the, of course, the bright pink here is where he's from, Tatabashi. And even though we're in the same state, uh, we are around middle here. But even that, it takes two to three hours, uh, probably three hours, because he has to change trains two or three times and change a bus to get to the college. So, it's uh, even though in the same state, it looks near, it's, it's quite far. So uh, from here, so I can get to Tokyo, probably same amount of time as he can get to Tagasaki. So where we're located. And here are some pictures he might recommend about his home place. We, of course, have some different flowers and different buildings, old style buildings. I was lucky enough to visit here one time uh, when I was an Aikawa teacher. I did a training here. I was a training teacher. So, of course, uh, let's see uh, here. I'll pick this. Uh, there's some temples here. Uh, this one. There's some uh, beautiful flowers there. Okay, so now let me close this. So Naoki, so please introduce us about your hometown, Tatebashi. Tsujigaoka uh, Park in Tatebashi City is very famous. And we can see great areas in Jonuma at Tsujigaoka Park. And end of May to June, we can see fruit bloom azaleas flower, and we have Tsutsuji festival. Tsutsuji means azalea, so uh, its festival is very, uh, it's great festival. So many people come to this festival. So I want you to come this festival. Thank you. How about food? What's famous food there? Food. Uh, udon is very famous. Uh, there are a lot of wheat field in Tatebai city. And udon is made from flour. Therefore, uh, udon is very famous. And I recommend udon uh, restaurant. The, mm. the name of the udon restaurant is Hanayama Udon. Mm, well, interesting, yes. Uh, yes, he doesn't know, but actually my my wife is Japanese and my my Japanese wife's uh, mother owns an Udon restaurant, uh, but not in Tatsubashi. So maybe different uh, style. She's in Numata, but also in Guma. 
Yeah, so uh, I often eat udon. Like when she has leftover, she makes, uh, if you don't know what udon is, it's kind of a, it's like spaghetti, but it's fatter. And it's usually handmade uh, with these local restaurants. So she hand makes it every morning. So uh, when she has leftover at the restaurant, she'll bring to my house. Like today she's visiting me. So she might be bringing some udon for me to eat. Okay, so in the third part of this interview, I'll explain about Naoki, why I decided to invite him. So I have here my score sheet from the spring. He's a second year university student at a local school, TCUE. And he is first time, yeah, first time in my class. But even though he's first in my class, in the class, uh, in his lesson, he was the second best student in his lesson. So he got 88%. Uh, and he did quite well on the final exam. He got 88%. And in the whole class, he got 88% overall. And he was the second best student. But more than just getting good in this class, some people get good or do well in every test. But what impressed me was the first, the, the midterm exam. So the midterm presentation, they do presentation of this class. The midterm, he actually got 72, 72%. Uh, so that's what really impressed me, which would connect to his study advice and also the ending, how to be better every day, that from the middle of the class, he, uh, from the first third, after the first third, they take the midterm exam, he got 72%. By the ending, he improved his presentation score to 88%. So 16% improvement during the class. So I was uh, quite impressed by that. Also, his uh, uh, reading is, is quite good, too. And everything else, yes, his evaluation is good. So now... I will give it over to him. So first, so the fourth part of our interview is study advice. So uh, what makes you such a good student? Studying with other people is important, I think. Um, of course, studying alone is very important, but sometimes we face the difficulty which we can't solve this situation or we can't understand this question what that situation is but if you study with other people your friend or your your family or your teacher they helps you if you have difficulty so studying with uh, studying with other people is important Hmm. Yeah, great advice. Uh, as they say, uh, the five people, your IQ is similar to the five people around you. Also, your salary uh, is similar to the five people around you. And so the people, the five best friends around you have the potential to pull you up, to make you a better student, to make you a better employee. Uh, they say that. So that's uh, very useful. Yes, because uh, their strengths might be your weakness. Like my best friend in high school, uh, Robert, people used to say, wow, you and Robert are so similar. But actually, no, we were equally different. <laughs> so my strengths were his weaknesses and his strengths were my weaknesses. So it compl we complemented each other well. Uh, so in the last part, the fifth part of this interview is, as I, as I always tell my students, be better, not better than your classmate, be better than yourself, uh, than yesterday, than last week, than last year. So make yourself better that's why i said about that he made himself better the first presentation was 72 percent. by the end he got 88 percent. so uh so this last part for this year either mentally physically or emotionally how do you plan to make yourself better this year days i often go running it makes me great feel after the learning and i like exercise so it's very good for my mental and physical. So I think it should be good routine for me. Mm -hmm. That's right. How often do you run? Oh, almost every day. Yes. <laughs> I, I yeah. like running. At night, usually night running. Yes. How long? How long do you usually run one time? About seven kilometer to about 10 kilometer, yes. Wow. That's very long. Yeah, quite, yes, quite, quite far. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, me too. I love it. Uh, as he knows, I, I like to walk too every day. During COVID, I started walking because I couldn't go to the gym. And like he said, yeah, I did it to help me physically. But also, yeah, it calms me down, helps me emotionally and mentally. I can think about things or listen to podcasts. Uh, I agree. Uh, walking or or running every day, plus the flexibility of you can do it anytime you want and anywhere you want. So anywhere you are, even on vacation, just uh, take a walk. So good good for you. So, wow, thank you again. So please, in the comments, everybody, please say thank you to Naoki for coming today. And I hope you uh, enjoyed his advice, and I hope it helps you become a better student in the future. Until next time, so see you later. Take care, everybody.